Traditionally, even when a defendant was negligent, the affirmative defenses of contributory negligence and assumption of risk could bar a plaintiff's recovery. However, most states today have adopted a system of comparative fault, which has replaced the defense of contributory negligence. In the 1967 case Blackburn v. Dorta, the Florida Supreme Court considered whether its system of comparative fault also replaced the defense of assumption of risk. Four years before Blackburn, the Florida Supreme Court in Hoffman v. Jones held that contributory negligence was no longer a complete bar to a plaintiff's recovery. Particularly, the court in Hoffman held that, under Florida's system of comparative fault, contributory negligence should only be considered in apportioning damages. Additionally, in 1974 and 75, three Florida courts of appeal decided three similar cases involving the defense of assumption of risk. In the 1974 case Dorta v. Blackburn, the District Court of Appeal for the Third Circuit found that assumption of risk was still a complete bar to recovery, despite the holding in Hoffman. However, one year later, the District Court of Appeal for the First Circuit and the District Court of Appeal for the Fourth Circuit rejected that assumption of risk was a complete bar to recovery. Subsequently, the Florida Supreme Court granted cert based on the conflicting judgments in the three appellate court decisions.